Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, I hope you're all well. Today we're going to have a go at the Riser DLC Formula V from Guapore in Brazil. We're going to do six laps here, um, starting 13th on the grid of 21 cars. Let's get this underway. Um, hopefully I can get a decent start, these cars are pretty hard to get off the line without lighting them up. Short shift there. Hopefully I can hold position. Running uh, real weather again here, so 31 degrees ambient, pretty warm in Brazil. And get a good line through here. All the cars will be jostling for position. Oh, drop to the inside there. The car is all about correct inputs. can get away with a bad line as long as your inputs are correct. Breaking in a straight line, a bit of throttle control, a little bit of blip, try to minimise lift off oversteer as much as possible because once it goes, um, it goes. I can see this being a very good um, club car, but I think it would need a lot more commitment from, from drivers than the Puma. Probably want to do this with a, a bit of a more experienced group because any kind of contact is really is a race ender. Especially if you get hit from behind, you just can't control the car, it's off. And this track itself is, is again brilliant. Whoa. Feels alive. Um, there's drones flying overhead. There's the trucks and cars driving three, around nine, around the outside six, of the track. No. Um, and if you pull up, you'll actually hear birds in these trees here, which is pretty cool. So, a huge amount of detail, great level of immersion. I think it'd be very cool in VR. Unfortunately, I don't have a VR headset, so I can't tell you what that would be like. Oh, there's that drone. I guess in this car, you've got time to look at it. <laughs> Probably not in the MCR. Oh mate, tries to under over me there. So you can get this inside line and hold it. Just don't want to collide with him. You race over. Sorry guys, concentrating. Whew. So yeah, performance is excellent. Um, no issues. If anything though, I feel that this car is probably, not from a, a physics point of view, um, and feedback and handling point of view, um, I think it's probably one of the most complete cars in the bunch, but from a, a model point of view, um, probably not the most complete car of the, of the lot. If you if you pull to a stop, um, you'll see that the tyres themselves don't look great, um, and you can see some polygons and stuff, some some kind of rough edges on the cockpit. But that's the only complaint. This car is is absolutely brilliant. damage there, a little bit of four wheel drift there, Whoa. 
don't think I've ever had to concentrate so much driving a car, not even with the 1960s F1s. feel so cautious driving this one. Probably a little bit too cautious there. Although he's made a mistake, so let's see if we can catch him. Tires are going off already, it can't be. Not oh, weather's changed again. It's a pity that that is so abrupt. Whew. That was almost a race over then. The okay, let's see if we can see if we can get back to fifth. Wow, little loss of concentration. There's a car driving around the outside there. It's just all the little details that make this whole DLC pack absolutely brilliant. Love it. <laughs> Full four wheel drift there. Same mistake again. Okay, I think this is the last lap. The lap was yep. Oof, well, hopefully we can hold on to this. I don't think we're going to make fifth, but from 13th to 6th isn't too bad. Especially in a car like this. So these adjustments you keep seeing me make on the wheel are not me lumping on source. It is actually the feedback from this car on this track. It's actually quite bumpy. Like that patch there of, of concrete or tarmac that was a different colour. That bump on the wheel was that me driving over that patch. So there's a lot of deal to detail to these circuits. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Whew. Wow. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I certainly did. Um, if you did, give it a like. Hit the uh, subscribe button and the notification bell, and I'll be sure to upload more content soon. Thanks, everyone. Bye.